Right, distillation. Distillation is an absolutely vital process to separate molecules from the different boiling points. So we've already said that primary alcohols, if you want to make an aldehyde, you have to do it under distillation. And that's because it's got a different boiling point to the alcohol and to the carboxylic acid that could also be produced. In the exam, there's a good chance they will ask you to draw a diagram of the equipment. This is normally really badly done because people get lazy with their diagrams or they don't care about them that much so they don't bother revising them. We're going to go over how to draw a decent diagram. First things first, you start off with your alcohol and your acidified dichromate in a round bottom flask. There's your round bottom flask. And in it, we will put some acidified dichromate and alcohol mix. And that's orange because that's the color of your acidified dichromate. Now, for that to react, we need to add some heat. That can be from a Bunsen burner, it can be from a heating mantle, it doesn't matter, as long as there's some kind of heat, it will work. Now, when we heat that up, the acidified dichromate and the primary alcohol are going to react. When they react, they produce an aldehyde, and we already know that the melting point, or the boiling point, of an aldehyde is lower than that of an alcohol, because alcohols have hydrogen bonding, aldehydes only have permanent dipole-dipole forces between molecules. So if we heat it up to above the boiling point of the aldehyde, but below the boiling point of the alcohol, all the alcohol will be left in here, all the aldehyde will evaporate off. And because it's reacted, it will now be green. So that's going to be our aldehyde. Now, because the temperature is quite important, then it needs to be above the boiling point of the aldehyde, but below the boiling point of the alcohol, we need a thermometer. So we'll stick a thermometer here. And this tube that the aldehyde will go up will go all the way to the thermometer and the thermometer will go in the tube. Now at this point, we need to somehow collect that aldehyde. It's still a gas. We don't like collecting gases. That's not easy. It's easier to collect it as a liquid. So to go from a gas to a liquid, you have to condense it. And to do that, we use something called a Liebig condenser. So basically, it's just a little tube that will run down here. And then we'll collect it in a beaker just here. Now, that tube is still going to be quite hot because it's got a hot aldehyde coming through it. We need to cool it down somehow. So around this tube here, the condenser, we put... We fill it with water. It's like a little blanket filled with cold water. So it needs to be attached to the tap. Now when you're back, you'll actually be doing this practical. So water comes in at the bottom and comes out again at the top. but all that is now gonna be filled with some nice cold water. Don't make the mistake of doing this with hot water. It won't work. We've all been there. So your aldehyde keeps going up here. Some of it will go up there. Some of it will go down here. When it goes here, it condenses. So now the aldehyde's a liquid it will just roll down here through the tube and be collected nicely in here. You 
you have to make sure that this bit of your diagram is sloping downwards because liquid can only flow downhill. Liquid can't flow uphill unless you're looking at some fun quantum stuff near the near absolute zero, but we don't care about that. Aldehyde has to flow downhill. So you've got your alcohol with the acidified dichromate in here. That will react, heat it up below the boiling point of the alcohol, above the boiling point of the aldehyde. The aldehyde evaporates off. It will condense here because this is surrounded by cold water, which will cool it down, come through here and get collected here. Notice in this diagram, there are no lines across here, across here, no lines here, no lines here. There is a clear path that the aldehyde can follow. That will be one of the marks you get when you're doing this in the exam. Make sure there are no blockages to the path that the aldehyde can follow. Now, in here, that alcohol with the acidified dichromate is still being heated up. So that can continue reacting to form the carboxylic acid if you've got enough of the oxidizing agent, but none of it will come in here because you're also below the boiling point of the carboxylic acid. That's why this is distillation and this is why you use distillation to collect aldehyde.